guys so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, add a view to the screen and then add the constraints to to all the edges of the screen so there's also something you have to take into account the shape area here and I'll show you just now and I've also started the simulator save time so that you won't have to watch me boot this up so what I'm going to go I'm going to go into the library the plus sign over here and I'm just going to type in UI view so if you want to view um, you can see the description here the title here should say view and so what we can do is just we drag it onto the screen and it's also white so we won't quite see it we can see these uh, boxes to outline the edges we can pick a color and I'm just going to pick some shade of brown now you can see it here so to add constraints you can drag and drop but this won't be effective in pinning this view to the edges of the screen what you need to do is you need to come down here if you hover you see it says add new constraint so we press on that and our view is the box in the middle and these four corners are the corners of the screen so if we click on this one this is the top corner it's 313 pixels from the top if we drop down here it says safe area so let me just put zero and then you'll see and then here it says it's 88 from this safe area here so I'll put another um, zero here and then we'll add this one another zero see it's from that safe area and the last one can add another zero and so you see now we've got a pin from all the four different corners of the screen and if I add that you see it's nicely pinned and so what that safe area was is like these bezels this is where you see your battery um, your signal and all of the other information in your tab bar at the top and at the bottom here we've got this handle here where you can switch between apps and stuff so that is what the safe area is if we had ignored this then it would go right up to the top and right up to the bottom before we do that let me just run this one we saw before we had a plain white view and now what we're going to see is the exact similar layout we have on the screen so we just need to wait you see it's launching something's happening here and boom we see in our app it's nicely pinned and even if we rotate you'll see it's still pinned to the safe area there safe area safe area and if we rotate it again that's upside down again so we see we have our grid layout there and now to take into account so we already have a layout I mean these constraints if we were to add these again they might conflict so what you want to do you want to come here you want to modify and you see here it says vertical and as I hover you can see I have this um, highlighted so what I want to do is edit but I want the first item to be so it says the first one is top you want it to be the super view alright now we have a figure there and we want this to be zero and then you'll see it go right to the top and then 
we want to go back, if I can find this one. And we have a safe area, and we change that again to super view. And you see now there's a distance of 34. And now we can see it's covering the full screen. And if we run that again, build has succeeded nicely. Now bring this to front. You can see it's fully covering the screen. So let's say you made a mistake and you don't know what to do. If you come back into this box, to these boxes, we added the constraints here. There's this old triangle like and here it says clear constraints if you click on this it's going to delete everything we still have this view it looks like it's got the constraints but it really doesn't and I'll show you this when I rotate the screen you see the rules don't apply they don't stick so this is why we need to define those constraints because they pin uh, that layout to different corners and now if I add constraints now again if I were to do that again the default is just going to be a safe area here safe area there and I don't know where the safe area went but let's just say 20 from each side just to show you um, and then from this side this one should be minus 20 I think Okay, so I'll explain that in the next video, why it's minus, but for now, let me run this, and then you can see how it's going to Alright, so there we have it again. 20, 20, 20, 20. Alright, so in the next video, I'll show how we can use the width and height and also distance.